Getting started in the prop firm space may raise a lot of questions. Is it legitimate? Is it actually real? Are people actually really getting these profits? Are these companies really delivering with their promises? In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to get started on prop firm challenge, kind of what it entails and how you can get started and actually get yourself funded. So make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to be covering some important points that you need to make sure you implement in order to be successful and get started on the right foot with your challenge. Okay, so how does it work? Number one, from challenges are an amazing opportunity for you to leverage, especially when you don't have a lot of capital. And essentially what these companies do is they allow you to use a larger amounts of capital to trade with, and then you get a certain percentage of the profit. So obviously to begin with, you obviously have to go through a set of tests, a set of challenges, right? And there's different types of challenges you can go through, which we're going to be going over later on in this video. But essentially you go through these challenges. Once you pass these challenges or challenge in this case, you then get funded. Once you're funded, you then get a 80% to 90% percent payout of whatever profits you make, right? Now, I know this raises a lot of questions. Some people say, well, what happens if I lose an X amount of dollars in the account? What happens if I lose 10K or or do I lose the entire account? Don't worry, we're gonna be covering this later on in the video. So make sure you stick around to the end. Make sure you also like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Each challenge, there are different rules, right? For example, the one step challenges I've done before, obviously they're great because you only do one challenge or one test. Once you pass it, you're officially funded. The problem with this is that also you have to understand that the rules are a lot more tighter, the limits. So obviously these companies, what they do is they put daily limits and they put max limits. So there's only a certain amount that you can lose per day and also a maximum amount of loss that you can take per day. So you have to always take that into account in the back of your mind and be like, okay, you know what? I need to keep this in mind that, you know, something, if I pass the daily limit, I could blow this account and breach it, lose the challenge, right? So you have to always keep this in the back of your mind as something that is important, especially when you're starting a challenge. Now, when it comes to starting with these challenges, you also have the options of how much you want to leverage with, right? How much capital do you want to work with, right? And so these challenges can start as low as 5,000 to 10,000 to 25,000 to 50 and up to over 400 and some even prop firms allow up to 600,000 in capital that you can essentially trade with. And so this, again, that's why I said at the beginning of this video is massive because you're able to leverage such a large amount of capital uh, that let's be honest, most of you guys or most of us won't be able to come up with, right? Right? at first, especially when you're first starting out, or especially once you have a tr solid trading plan, let's say you just don't have that capital. Let you only have like 10,000 to work with. If you have 10,000, let's say you're risking 1%, there's not much you can make. You could probably make, you know, 500 bucks for the day. But as opposed to if you had that same, let's say you leave that 10,000 in your savings and then you say, okay, I'm going to start a uh, 200K challenge because I want to have 200K in capital and funded capital. And then, you know, you do the same amount of risking 1%. If you get in profit, let's say two to 3% profit off of a trade, now we're talking two to 3% off of, you know, a 200K account. You're talking about a couple thousand dollars in profit. And you get 80 to 90 percent of that so that's where you start seeing a massive difference as opposed to just saying okay i'm just going to use my own personal capital yeah you can make 500 600 700 dollars in a day in a trade a winning trade but what about you know kind of taking it to the next level and actually you know leveraging these companies and make a larger amount of profit and that's the massive difference with these prop firms but we're going to actually dive in i'm going to show you guys right now on the computer we're going to look at one of the companies that i actually am currently funded with that i do highly recommend and if you are looking to start your challenge make sure you click Click the link below and get started the funded trader challenge okay so let's dive in guys and i'm going to go over the basis of the website uh, if you guys have any questions as well make sure you guys ask it in the comment section below all right traders so let's get started with this i'm not going to try and confuse you here with all this information that you see but don't worry we're going to cover it together essentially there's different types of challenges like i was telling you guys earlier there's a standard rapid royal and every different platform is going to be completely different right they're all going to offer different uh challenges different rules for each challenge and so on but for this, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to focus on the Royal Challenge, which is the one that I currently have and uh, funded with. But you could see literally, you could trade, it tells you account size. So you choose the challenge that you want, then it tells you account size. You could see there's 50 for this one, 50, 100,000, 200,000, up to 400,000 in trading capital. Now, obviously, these are different types of uh, amounts, right? So you choose the amount that you want, like Personally, we have 200,000. My wife has 200,000. Uh, that's a good good start. Usually they go for about a thousand bucks. You can see $939, but there is a lot of promotions you can see at the bottom end here. And if actually you do want to start your challenge, you can click the link below and get started with the funded trader. I'm currently with this company. I do recommend them. But I'm not associated with this specific company, but essentially you have the minimum trading day. So essentially what this means is they want to know 
that and they want to make sure that you're not just passing the challenge in one day with one single trade, right? They 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 set the rules and in this case they say, okay, we have five days for this challenge. That is the minimum that you need to be trading this account. So let's say you pass it on the first day. In this case, you would still have to wait five trading days and actually have to put a smaller position, trading position, whatever, to actually show that you've traded for five trading days. Okay. Now leverage, I guess by this point, you guys already know how that works. It tells you the leverage tells you virtual profit targets. So how much profit they want you to make, uh, you know, on phase one and then how much loss. So maximum loss that you can lose on the entire account. So you can lose up to $20,000. That's 10% of the 200 K uh, challenge. And then they tell you the maximum daily loss. So you want to make sure that you don't go above the 10%. This is really crucial because if you go over this, you completely breach the account, you lose the challenge and you lose this money. Now, a lot of people ask this question. It's like, what happens? Do I, if I, let's say I lose the 10,000 for the daily limit or I lose the 20,000 for the total max loss. Uh, is that like, do I have to pay that money back? Absolutely not. That's the whole point of the challenge. They trade these on demos. Uh, and then once you're actually funded, it's like a virtual account on a copier. Essentially, that's another video for another day, but you don't have to worry about that. Essentially, if you do lose account, uh, for whatever reason, daily loss limit or the maximum loss that essentially happens, uh, where they take on that, uh, responsibility. You don't have to worry about that. Essentially, all you lose is the actual initial cost, which is the $939. That's what you have to worry about. So every time you lose a challenge, this is what you're putting at risk. And every time you pass this challenge, essentially you get uh, a refund back on your first withdrawal on your first profits, right? So again, phase one, this is the rules. Basically, this is what they're looking for. They want to make sure that you stay within these parameters, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, as long as you reach this profit target, you move on to phase two. And again, phase two, like I said, the target typically is a lot less. And so you can see the phase two target uh, is 10,000, which is 5% of the 200K account. And then same thing, right? Make sure that you're not going over the daily loss, which is actually $10,000 as well. And so it just explains everything. There's a video for if you are still kind of confused uh, about about what that entails. Can you hold X, can you do expert art? So co trade copiers on these challenges? Yes, depends on the challenge though, right? Remember at the beginning of the video, like I said, depends on the challenge type that you're doing, right? Because every challenge type is different, right? I, for example, have done rapid challenge where you can pass this challenge uh, actually, sorry, the night challenge where you can pass it in one phase, right? You don't have to do phase one or phase two. You just do the phase one, the first test, you pass a profit target, and then you're officially funded, right? This is quick. The problem is now let's look at the rules here, right? Maximum loss is only 12,000 instead of 20,000. Okay. Now in this case, maximum daily loss is no longer 10,000. It's actually 6,000. So that's, you have to weigh in your pros and cons and saying, okay, well, do I want to pass this in one phase? However, I'm going to have much tighter rules where I could potentially breach my account and lose my challenge easier. Or do I want to actually go kind of the more flexible route and you know what I mean? Go with a normal two-step challenge, right? That is totally up to you. I've done both. They're both great. However, you do have to keep in the back of your mind when it comes to the one-step challenges. Okay. So again, that is basically the, in a nutshell, you know, how prop from trading works and essentially how you can leverage these companies and these opportunities that we have to be able to take advantage of it. Again, at the end of the day, I always say this, you have nothing to lose if you, the only thing you lose is what you invested, right? So as long as you're aware of that, what do you have to lose? You get your first payout, you get 80%. Let's say you're up, for example, you get funded, you're up, let's say 10% of 100K, you made $10,000 profit, you get 80% 80, 80 of that or 90% of that. Like, think about that. That's 9K, that's 10, that's 8K, right? That's huge, right? And then you also get your initial amount. So this cost that you see here, you actually get that refunded on your first payout. So again, what do you have to lose? The $939, that's all you're putting at risk, right? Because some people would say, oh my gosh, I'm risking like 10,000 or whatever. You're not, you're only really risking what you initially invested on the challenge. So that's a massive, massive advantage to me, the way I see it, right? And so essentially that, that's all you do. You set up your account, you go to your trade hub, uh, they'll ask you basic questions, you go through a verification process, similar to kind of like uh, starting a, your account on a brokerage, very, very similar. And then basically that's it. They'll explain each challenge, right? Like I said, like these are key highlights. Every challenge is different. You have like your standard challenge. This one, you can't, you know, you can use trade copiers. You can trade, for example, do the trade news. Some of them are more for swing traders. It depends on your style, right? I believe the dragon challenge is 
a new one, but that's like a three phase one. So it's like you have to go through three different tests, then you get funded, but it's a little bit cheaper. So it just really depends on what your needs and wants are for these challenges. But that's it. That's essentially when it comes to the basis of starting a challenge. That's really it. Start the account, pick your challenge type, understand each rules for each uh, challenge and understand what your parameters are. What do you want to go with, right? What's your end goal? Do you want to do swing trading? Then go for a, a, a challenge that's going to allow you the flexibility of trading news, right? Allow you to hold over the weekends, right? If you want to do more kind of like day trading, right? Intraday trading, then you focus on, a on an account or a challenge that when you are funded will allow you to trade news or will allow you to, you know, use a trade copier, right? Because you want to expand and make even more profits, right? So there's a lot more to this uh, when it comes to uh, these platforms and definitely Definitely, definitely recommend these companies also recommend FTMO as well but if you ask me in terms of the value and what you get for the funded trader is probably one of my my most highly recommended prop firms and my most favorite to be honest and yeah they always have some sort of a promotion you can start with the smaller challenges if you will like there's a 5,000 5k challenges like smaller ones I believe if you go to the standard you can see look at this 5,000 10,000 25,000 50 and so on and it goes up to 400,000 so and again you can see phase one phase two and phase three is the actual funded uh, account you can see it's indefinite you can trade it indefinitely and it just shows you how much of a profit split you get uh, and then you can scale it so if you are getting consistent payouts your profit split percentage then increases from 80 to 90 percent and so on and that's basically what the scaling uh, means but yeah that's basically it guys if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments below i appreciate you guys and if you're new to the family welcome uh, excited to have you here and make sure you're connected to the family. Make sure you are uh, a part of our free telegram community that we have as well. And if you want to become a VIP member and trade with me as well, make sure you guys uh, click the links below for that. Thank you so much. Have yourself a blessed day and God bless.